Hey guys, today I'm going to be comparing some new shears from the factory with a pair of shears that's all been done up. This pair's been done up by Shear Sharp New Zealand. And I'll be explaining the reasons why we need to do up shears from the factory. So, first off, these factory shears will start at the top. The points that come on them are really round and you'd never push that through wool, at least not on any dense wool sheet. The edge here is really thick and almost impossible to sharpen on these factory shears. Take you forever to stone that edge down to get a decent edge on here. You can hear that it's not a smooth edge. Also, the blow size is really small, only just a bit longer than my finger. As we work back, back here, this is metal on metal when you close the shears and like uncomfortable noise and also that jars your hand and if you're shearing for any length of time it'll really start to hurt your wrist. Also if you did try to take a big blow the blades will cross over and you'll end up cutting your thumb on the bottom blade. Now back to the handles. When you close the shears the handles aren't square and so you're using all of the power from the front of your hand and none of the back. And so they'll mean that you'll really hurt your front fingers and this piece of your palm and you'll hardly work these two fingers in the back of your hand. The other thing which is a bit hard to show, I'm holding the bow straight up and down and you can see the blades on a real angle and that'll make it really difficult to shear on the skin of the sheep or even get a flat finish at all. Moving on to the shear sharp shears here. They've ground them to almost a point. They're still a little bit rounded so it'll roll over the skin but fine enough that it'll enter the wool. They've been ground and so the edge is nice and thin so it doesn't take too much to stone. The blow has been opened up a lot so it's probably one and a half times the width. So it's a lot more wool you can take with each blow. And because the cockspur has been put on you can actually take a blow up to that big without any problems and even if the blades did cross over that cockspur will hit your thumb rather than the blade so that's good for safety if you get into good shearing sheep we've also got a little rubber knocker here so that just stops that banging the jarring of your hand and you've also got this padding here to pad the palm of your hand so you're less likely to get bruised we see now the handles are almost square and that means that you can use your hand more evenly. So you're using the front and the back of your hand to close those shears. And again, it's a little more difficult to show, but the blades are a lot more square to the handles now. The blades do still curve in a little bit and that's just to give enough tension for the shears to still cut, even in really tough shearing sheep. Uh, we've also got the driver here and so that's to hold your hand so you can push those shears into the wool. This is especially important on dense wool sheep. So that's, um, that's the basics of setting up shears uh, and the reasons that we do it. As Again, you'll see the difference here. It's a much smaller blow and much more basic the ones from the factory. And you really struggle to shear many sheep with these. With a pair like this, any uh, professional shearer should be able to shear 100 plus sheep in a day uh, after they've got a couple of years experience under their belt. 